uh, in this section, we will talk about microservices, uh, which is uh, yet another uh, technology that enables 5G core architecture and is heavily used. So microservices refers to the architect uh, refers to an architectural and organizational approach to software development, uh, where application is composed of smaller independent services uh, that interact with each other over well-defined APIs. So like I had mentioned uh, previously, uh, 5G is making a use of a lot of the technologies that have been around uh, in the IT and DevOps um, uh, industry. And one of them is microservices. So microservices actually form the basis of uh, service-based architecture. And uh, you will hear this uh, term service-based architecture quite often when you read documentation about 5G. And what it really means in a sense is that what 5G has done is uh, they have broken out uh, the functions provided by the network elements in small independent services um, that interact with each other over well-defined APIs. And this will make more sense as we look at the architecture, but um, that it, it is sufficient to understand at this point that all the network elements, uh, so say you are familiar with uh, the 4G EPC, we had the MME, uh, you had the P gateway, you had the S gateway, and all those network elements uh, in 4G were monolithic uh, where there was one element providing many services running on the same platform. Um, in 5G, they have decoupled all that, where they have taken one network element and they have uh, split out all the different functions of that network element. And those uh, uh, functions are implemented as independent services. And these services interact each other with uh, well-defined APIs, uh, rather than, you know, um, like traditional uh, uh, protocols that were well uh, that were used um, in the 4, uh, 4G world, and we will we will discuss more about these once we get uh, to the architecture. Uh, there are several benefits of using microservices. Uh, you have uh, components have limited scope, and therefore changes can be uh, made quickly and efficiently. Instances can be added, uh, removed uh, on demand, adding ease of scalability. So microservices ties very well together with the concept of containers, with the concept of virtual machines that we looked at in the past. And if each of these services is running inside a VM or a container, uh, we can scale it up and down very quickly. Uh, we can do independent software upgrades and the ease of debugging due to limited scope of components, right? Because if each component is only doing a given set of functions, uh, it's, it makes it easier to debug issues um, rather than debugging at a at an element level. So uh, for comparison's sake, here is our uh, monolithic architecture, which was sort of like, uh, as an example, in our 4G. Um, and in contrast, we have the microservices-based architecture here, where services so say we had five services here um, each of these services now has been decomposed and is running independently so one two three four five and each of these services previously was interacting uh, with each other as an example like here now uh, and all this communication was internal to this element uh, in contrast here what they do is they define a common uh, communication channel and then each of these services can talk to the other service via while defined uh, access point interfaces APIs so that is the um, microservices uh, concept for you uh, and it is highly embraced in 5g core 